Hello, Tracy here, and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. This is going to be on TikTok. If it's longer than 10 minutes and you want to see the full video, please look at YouTube at Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you for the likes, the views, the subscribes, the follows, and the comments. I appreciate everything. So let's go ahead and see what spirit, what message spirit has for us today. We start off with scarcity. Somehow, some way, and for whatever reason, maybe it's a mindset. But there's this like a feeling of not having enough or lacking in some way. Like not having enough. Whether that's enough money, whether that's enough like household products or toilet paper, or enough love, enough attention, someone feels like they don't have enough. Therefore, that's translating to them feeling like within themselves they are not enough. It's when we can transform how we think to understand and to know and to believe that we are enough. That's when we get over that lack mindset. We don't try and live outside of our means and we don't try and compete. We live happily within ourselves within our walls within our own mind comfortable in our own skin with who we are there was too many that flipped over well I guess it was three I guess I'll take off three we have awakening like maybe now we're waking up to <clears throat> who we are to what really matters because now we're we're finding ourselves more grounded in reality in reality we're waking up to what's important in life and what's really not we're waking up to who we want to represent ourselves to be in life. We're becoming grounded with ourselves because we're learning to love ourselves. We're, we're changing our mindset. We no longer have that lack mentality. What we have right now right here all of it is exactly what we need and we have everything that we need the wants they'll come in time but we're secure because we have everything that we need especially within ourselves I am enough I am enough and if someone feels that what I'm offering is not enough, they can kindly go look for that somewhere else. Because what I am, who I am, and what I have to offer is enough. Liberation. And it feels good to be liberated. It feels good to know <clears throat> if you don't like it, you can leave. It feels good to know if you want to be around, then we can compromise. But it's not going to be your way or the highway. Because I'll just take the highway. At the bottom, we have manifestation because. 
we are in a period in our lives where we are becoming abundant. We're becoming abundant on the outside, but more importantly, because of us waking up from a lack mentality, from being feeling like it's okay to be breadcrumbed, feeling like it's okay to be the black sheep, feeling like it's okay to be lied to, feeling like it's okay to be done wrong, feeling like it's okay to be taken from, feeling like it's okay to be used. We're waking up from that. That's that scarcity mindset that feels like, that says, I have to accept this because I'm not enough. We're waking up from that to realize, oh, honey, I'm more than enough. And I'm not afraid to be me. And I'm not afraid to stand alone in liberation. Because I am at a point in my life where I am manifesting. Let's go ahead and clarify with some tarot. The bottom, Ace of Cups. Like I said, falling in love with yourself is the best thing you could ever do. You know? Once you, once you move forward, there is no going back. There is no accepting less than. And those people, if they can't step up to the plate, they have to move out the way. For the people that can step up to the plate, the people that want to step up to the plate. If that job just th doesn't want to pay you more so that you can live and not just survive, guess what? Those skills that you have, and that skill set, there's another company out there that is willing and wanting to make sure that you are able to live so that you can be at your best to produce for them. Okay, so it seems like this Six of Cups wants to jump out. It could be underneath that scarcity. It's like thoughts from the past, maybe. Ways that you were lied to or ways that you lied to yourself. You know, having to walk away from that scarcity mindset. Having to waken up to what it is that you deserve. How much you deserve. And what it is that you don't deserve. And what it is that you will and will not put up with. Completing cycles, cycles that were meant to be completed, cycles that propel you forward because now you think differently. And as you think, so you shall become. And following your own intuition, following your own spirit guides, asking for the communication to come from your higher power, God, ancestors, archangels, and not listening to what man tells you. Because man doesn't want you to feel good about yourself. Man wants you to feel overburdened. They don't want you to go any further than what they've gone. Because they're overburdened. They're wounded. They're broken. So they don't want you to be healed. They don't want you to be free. They don't want you to have all of the benefits that they don't have. Clarifying this awakening and this grounding, we only had two cards that came out. The Ace of Staffs and the Three of Cups. It's like this It's this awakening is like it's a, a spiritual awakening. It's like it's, it's such a, a powerful, fiery spirit start and it's something that should be celebrated it's something that should be celebrated and you're finding your tribe you're finding your tribe with the page of cups expect some good news to come in expect some news to come in Expect some news to come in about 
either someone that you worked with in the past or someone that wants to work with you now because they see the newness in you they see the seriousness in you they see how you it's like have you have goals now goals that are not just a three-year plan a five-year no you've got lifelong goals now with the wheel of fortune like i said you have completed a major cycle and now the wheel is turning in your favor the universe has the wheel turning in your favor. You, my dear, are an empress at what you do. You have everything that you need and you are, like I said, in a very abundant state. You're manifesting. Everything around you grows. Everything is turning in your favor. People want to work with you. People want to come to you. Could be a king of cups. So let's talk about this liberation. Let's talk about this liberation. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, everything around the Empress grows. And it's like maybe someone can see that now. Someone has a different, a different understanding. Someone can see things differently because they had a tower moment. What they thought they knew, they found out they didn't know shit. They thought that they had a wish come true only to find out it ended up being a nightmare. They could have found themselves drinking more to try and get away with, get away from it. Drinking more, smoking more weed, whatever. Whatever. Eating more, sleeping more. Something, they were doing something more to try and escape. But it hit like a boom. And after it hit, they said, you know what? I got to go somewhere else. I got to do something else. I have to take a different path. Because I see that that path, that path there that I used to be on, uh-uh. So I know which direction I have to go. And I'm, and I'm making moves to do that, to go that way. I'm working on myself right now. I'm doing the hard work. I'm not making, I'm not trying to do, make it easy this time. I'm, I'm, I'm digging in. I'm doing the hard work. I'm working on me. I'm working on who I need to be because I, I regret decisions that I made in the past. Such deep regrets. I mean, I thought that these were different options that were being brought to me. But now I see that it was just the devil that was really trying to fuck with me. So that liberation, clarifying that liberation, whoever that is, they went within, deeply within to look for the light within as to where they need to go. And they found that direction they found that guiding star and trust and believe they are on their way they may have to travel at it from a distance but they are on their way you know they are on their way and they're concerned that they overburdened you with Whatever, I feel like this is talking about someone that's going somewhere else. But it's like this person 
like I said, could be thinking about something or someone from the past, a situation, a mindset, a, something that happened from the past that they had to leave behind or, or something left behind, but it was justice. They got left behind, but it was justice. It was justice because the cycle needed to be completed. They needed to learn how to lean on not on their own understanding of the situation, but truly on, they needed to go within. And then they awakened. They decided that they knew where the, it was a good thing that they awakened and that they had that awakening and they decided they knew where they wanted to, who they wanted to work with, this empress because they could see that this empress, the wheel was turning forward in this person's favor. And it's like, as they wanted to work with this person or work with this empress, it turns in their favor. And under the liberation, what they liberated from was basically the devil. Everything came as a shock. Everything came as a surprise. And it was like, all of a sudden, one day it's this, the next day they have to think, how the fuck do I get out of here? nine of wands at the bottom but this person that's leaving the devil this person is protected spiritually protected because this person has already gone through a battle with this devil energy they've already gone through that battle and whenever they woke up and had that realization, it's almost like that's whenever they kind of got scared straight. Clarifying this scarcity. <clears throat> yeah. Like I said, they got left and it was justice. They had to complete a cycle and, and start to use their intuition. Because who they got left by was the Empress, the Ten of Coins, and the Ace of Coins. So this is who walked away. This is what said bye-bye. You know, could have been a mother figure because you got the Empress and the Ten of Coins. Could have been a mother. You know? And then the Ace of Coins, that's new beginnings all day long. It could be that this this empress that walked away was also a high priestess and knew that, you know what, when I walk away from you, you about to get some justice. Because if I have to walk away, it's because I told spirit, okay, spirit, show them what they need to say. Show them what they need to say. All right, so spirit, let's go ahead and clarify and this awakening and the scrounging. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's 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 like a, an awakening and grounding happens simultaneously. Because when we awaken, you best believe at the same time we are then grounded to reality, to the truth, to who we are, to who, how we're no better than anyone else, and no one is, else is any better than us. How we are all the same. When we wake up, we are also grounded. How not to take anything or anyone for granted with the Six of Cups. And because we think of people from our past, the people that we took for granted, the people that were there for us, the people that we just didn't see, didn't care to see, didn't, you know, whatever, they'll always be there. Well, maybe they won't always be there. With the four coins. So when they're not always there. And you're left with the four of coins. And they took their ten of coins. And their ace of coins. Who's lacking now? Who's lacking now? It's like you. Whoever. 
<clears throat> had to really work to get on this this the person who left the person who who they left the person okay so wait the person who got left had to get on the level of the person who left them that's what i'm trying to say the news gonna come out one of these minutes but yeah what else spirit Ooh. two of cups four of cups and the navel cups yep see this is a relationship this is a, a very important relationship that they slept on they took it for granted they took it for granted because they was acting in an immature energy like they was just like ah oh, yeah mm, whatever but whenever that person walked away with this eight of cups here at the bottom when that person walked away and what is this the seven of wands and the ten of wands sticking out when that person walked away that person then found out with the seven of wands that they was going to have to defend for themselves and fend for themselves and how actually overwhelming it actually is so they was taking her for granted whoever they was taking this empress for granted they found out they was in that in that in that scarcity mindset and maybe that was scarcity of giving love of giving respect of giving attention of giving nurturing of giving back of giving after receiving that's scarcity as well when someone feels that i don't have to do i can accept 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 and i don't have to return in return that's a scarcity mindset that's that fuck around stage and guess what looks like this knave of cups and found the fuck out clarifying this liberation we have the hangman the death card and the emperor yeah so whoever this was that was in this young energy of I can just take, 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 and not give, they are liberating themselves from the devil, remind you. They had to leave that devil alone because they see the dead devil act like they had all these options. Only option the devil the devil was offering them was they was getting fucked up. That was it. So they left that devil alone. They saw everything for what it was. They recognized some shit. They said, you know what? Let me look at things just a little bit differently. Because I didn't expect all of this. Let me put an end to some toxic energy. Whether that's my own behaviors the company I keep, thoughts that I have, beliefs that I had. Let me end that. Let me take that cheap and let me end that. Because that is really going to be the death of me and anything that makes me happy. And let me step up to the plate and be the man that I know that I am. And stop acting like a little boy who has just all of these, you know, not really, really ready to settle down, not really not knowing who they really want to be with, none of that. Let me step back and like that and get real and get real. Anything else, Spirit, for this liberation? Anything else? And sometimes people need to get left so that they can, under from the person that means the most to them, so that they can understand, you know what? Everybody got feelings. Everybody has feelings. Everybody has emotions. 
everybody wants love. And if you're not able to love that person, you need to tell that person. You need to love yourself and that person enough to tell that person, I don't love you. I'm not able to love you. So that way that person can make their own decisions and go their own way, which would be justice as opposed to mistreating someone as opposed to treating someone like they're an option. You know? As a cho as opposed to acting like somebody, like you got all these different choices and yeah, 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 you mess with them whenever you got time. Because that's just what's getting, getting you messed up. That's what's getting you messed up. Not recognizing and realizing not sitting here asking yourself, who do you really think that you are? Have you ever asked yourself that? Everybody should. Who do I really think I am? Whenever I mistreat people or I'm treating people the way I would not want to be treated, who do I think I am? Mm, 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 mm. Sometimes you need to check yourself. You know? You need after... After so you need to check it. You need to sit back and say, wait, wait, just, I know, you know what? Inside, inside, I really don't feel good with what just happened. Let me check myself. And then after I check myself, let me go back and apologize. Temperance. Because that's what's healing to any type of person, any type of situation, any type of anything. That's what's healing. So having so much pride, so much ego inside to say, well, if they didn't do this, I wouldn't have had to say this. Well, if they didn't say this, I wouldn't have felt the need to say this. Well, no, no, no. Sometimes we got to check ourselves. Like who the, who the hell do I think I am acting like that? That was ugly. Ooh, that was ugly. But sometimes people are given spiritual authority to do, to, to kind of let somebody know who the hell you think you are. You better wake the fuck up to who you think you are. Wake the fuck up to who I am. Don't get shit twisted now. Don't get it twisted. Unless you want to get your feelings hurt. You know? Not unless you want to get your feelings hurt. Okay? I think it's a game. Anything else, spirit? Anything else? Yes, indeed. That healing. Healing of that scarcity. Healing of, get away from that. It's okay to show love. It's okay to show respect. It's okay to show forgiveness. It's okay to be kind. It's okay to laugh. It's okay to, to be comforting. It's okay to, you know, want to comfort people. It's okay. We need more like that. We need less people more. We need people we need less people who's more worried about money and more people who's more worried about love what we got eight of materials ace of inspiration lovers and the hermit yeah Working on ourselves, working to be the best person that we could possibly be, you know. Working towards, hey, showing that, giving, showing that uh, olive branch, or or extending a helping hand to someone, you know. Because we've gone with them, we know who we are. We're comfortable with who we are. We no longer have that scarcity mindset, feeling like it's not okay. We've dealt with ourselves and gone through those dark nights of the soul. We have 
We've delved into who, you know, everything. Brought up those past secrets, things that we were afraid to deal with before. But we've dealt with it. We've dealt with it. We, we, we walked away from the devil. We knew that we had to leave the devil. Because the devil was just lying to us from, from the past all along. All along. Maybe since we were kids. It's, uh, it, was, it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. That's what I... It was just a dream. The devil, the devil created a dream with those illusions, with those lies. What else will we got? Page of inspiration, the night of inspiration, and the page of emotions. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like the devil maybe had somebody not able to grow up, you know, not able to face their fears, you know, not able to really deal with their own emotions, you know, not able to really deal with a relationship because that may having deeper emotions, you know, and having just that in and out energy. It's like that person, it's like that fear that, that the devil had put in their, in their mind whenever they were, could have been whenever they were young, had them thinking that no, 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 I can't do this. I can't, no, you got to do this way. You got to do that way. You can't do this. You can't do that. Hey, I'm going to be young forever. I don't need this. I don't need that. You know, it's like with the ace of materials at the bottom, it's kind of like this person and then a night of emotions. Yeah. It's like this person. It's like they, they threw themselves into work. Because it was like they had that one thought in their head still from the past that kept them stuck and in regret of some bullshit. Yeah. And it's like it was almost like a loop they kept playing over and over and over. Something that got that kept them stuck, kept them stuck, kept them stuck, kept them stuck. But whenever this person walked away, that's what broke that cycle. That's what helped this person to graduate, awaken, to be grounded and honest with themselves. That's what helped them to liberate themselves away from this devilish, evil energy to look at everything different, like, hey, hey, this is how I was acting. I was acting like I was just still a boy. I was acting like I could do whatever and I didn't have to worry about no consequences. I could come and go as I play. I was acting like a spoiled ass brat. That's what it seemed like to me. And looked like this person felt, felt like it was time for them to have to grow the fuck up. Looked like that to me. Let's see what else. The stack of cards got to a site. 33, 33 on the clock. Ooh, okay. Yep, this is about that devilish energy. Ain't your friend. And it was a friend of me that was all up in your face. But that person was not your friend. Not doing you like that. Ugh, come on now. There was so many other cards that seemed like they wanted to jump out, but go, dog. Do your normal 12 at a time, please. Not 20. What else? Oops. This one wanna come on. Look. Somebody said that they are messed up. Because you know what? They had to humble themselves. They had to humble themselves. They messed up because they didn't humble themselves. Good, yeah, like I said, someone's third eye is open. They are now awakened. Spirit said he had to show them better. He could better than he kept trying to tell them. Kept trying to tell them. 
Like that was like, Spirit, will you please stop trying to watch TV? Spirit said, oh, okay. I got your TV for you. I'm going to have your TV playing for you. Good and light. Good. Mm-hmm. Spirit said, no, I ain't stopping. I'm keeping, I'm keeping on. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is too funny. Spirit said, nope, I ain't going to stop. You know? What else? What else, Spirit? Please came out. Someone has healed, they have graduated, and they have ascended, and they have adopted change. Time to change, time to transform for the better. Okay, Let's get these back in. Go a little bit more. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. What about this liberation? Well, you're here. Because you already know. It's time for change. And I feel like that. Like, no. That was for. Not Spirit telling you that he's not going to stop. Well, he said he's not going to stop. He, she, Spirit, Spirit. But. You returning to that devilish energy, having that scarcity mindset. It's too many. It's too many. You know? Just recognizing that it was time to change. You paid attention to that intuitive nudge. And now you just need to continue to trust your own guides. Okay? And remember... Now that person is thinking, is worried about how, you know, they treated you. And that's how. No Vaseline. You know? And guess what? You are finally dealing with it. Whatever that it, that devilish energy in your life is you're finally dealing with it and i'm so happy for you all right thank you so very much i look forward to seeing you please like please subscribe and please come back and see me soon